Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at a custom ISO known as Vista Reloaded. This ISO made by Mr. Amuskin, I pronounce it wrong every time, I really apologize for pronouncing your name wrong. This mod was made by him, and it is a Windows 10 mod that makes Windows 10 look and feel like Windows Vista. We've taken a look at quite a few of his other mods in the past that make Windows 10 look like Windows 98, Windows 7, Windows 95, uh, so many various builds, but this one is special, to me at least, because... I actually was one of the people that really loved the UI of Windows Vista and felt like it was the right step forward after Windows XP. So I'm very eager to take a look at this here. So here we are on the desktop of Vista Reloaded. Not the desktop rather, but the setup screen. It obviously is so close and mimics Windows Vista so much. And just keep in mind, this is a Windows 10 setup that was fully customized. I mean, the extent to, uh, that some developers go to make things look like this is just incredible. Um, but just like that, we mirrored Windows Vista, and we're now setting up the OS. All right, and here we are on the desktop of Vista Reloaded. The first thing I'm going to try to do is go ahead and just adjust the resolution for you guys so you guys get a little bit better viewing quality. Typically, what I would do is I would do scaling, but unfortunately, because Windows settings is not here, okay, it's not actually letting me uh, change or adjust the resolution. Let's try again. Okay, well, um, I don't really want to troubleshoot that right now, so this is the best we're going to get. Welcome to Vista Reloaded. On the desktop, we have right here this Word document right here, Vista Reloaded. The WoW starts again, a play on if you don't know Windows Vista slogan was the WoW starts now. Um, thank you for trying out Vista Reloaded, a Windows 10 installation that is modified to make it look like Vista accurately. Here's all of the mods that were used. Here are some known issues, and then again, there's the developer. I know I pronounced his name wrong, so I'm not going to try and pronounce it again. On the desktop on the far right side, we can see that iconic Windows sidebar. Windows Vista was the first OS to come with the Windows sidebar, and then Windows 7 expanded on that by letting you put widgets wherever you please and not just needing a sidebar. On the taskbar, we have our time, which opens up just like Windows Vista would safely remove media, our speakers that sound like Windows Vista, our network settings that look exactly like the Windows Vista one does, Bluetooth, and then we have uh, seven taskbar tweaker, wasn't sure what that was, the actual Windows sidebar tray, and then we have VMware tools, which I installed. Over on the left side, we have our show desktop button. Oh wait, that is not show desktop, I apologize. That is the task switcher, which actually comes up like Windows 10. So it is Windows 10's actual task view switcher, or desktop switcher, rather. Then we have the actual show desktop button, which then brings us into the start menu itself. And so far, I have to say I'm really impressed at how much this looks like Windows Vista. I mean, the only thing that sold it for me was that there were Windows 10 notifications popping up when I started the video. I mean, I didn't they weren't in the recording, but when I first booted into this, there were some Windows 10 notifications coming through in the bottom right. But I mean, this really looks like Windows Vista. Here by default, we have Internet Explorer, which actually goes to Firefox. It's probably a theme. Windows Mail, which is probably the real, yep, 2009 Windows Live Mail. Pretty cool. Uh, mail is received October 5th, 2024. Interesting. Probably, I think that's about the time this was created, I think. In all programs, calendar, context, defender, DVD. So it, I'm not gonna read all of these, but it looks like this is like an ultimate skew of Windows Vista. That's what they're trying to mimic. We'll take a look at Winver in just a minute. Windows Update doesn't actually do anything. Uh, pretty cool. Under Accessories, we have all of this fun stuff, including Connect to a Network Projector, which always on my Windows Vista machine. I always tried it. Never could figure out what it did. I mean, obviously, I know what it does, but could never play around with it a little more. Uh, calculator, RDP, Paint, Snipping Tool, you know, all of the typical stuff that we see in Vista. Continuing through the start menu, we can see that we have Windows Administrative Tools, Extras, and Upgrades. Yeah, this is definitely trying to mimic Windows Ultimate, um, considering we have Ultimate Extras right there. Um, we then have Games. Everyone knows, if you know this channel, my favorite game always in Windows has been Purple Place. Uh, brings back a lot of memories from when I used to play Purple Place on a Windows Vista laptop. Uh, maintenance, startup, and then tablet PC. I don't know if startup actually contained the Windows Media Center sys tray in the real version of Vista. I don't think it did, but this custom mod has it. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at that Internet Explorer mod because we saw that it was Firefox and we can actually see it's still Firefox by this window right here. Um, but they have it themed to look like Windows, sorry, Internet Explorer. Um, because when you go to about, it actually tells you like, you know, this is the Firefox settings. But if we were to go to like google.com, I mean, it's a full modern web browser. It's full modern Firefox. So it is able to load modern websites while still looking like the original Internet Explorer. Let's go ahead and take a look in the task manager where we can see, let's take a look here. Uh, typical Windows CPU utilization, and then we're using 950 megs out of 2 gigs of RAM that I gave this virtual machine. So definitely not Windows Vista specs, but not bad for Windows 10. Let's go ahead and take a look at our disk usage. Uh, definitely not a compressed ISO or what we typically think of. I mean, typically we look like Tiny 11, smaller Windows builds. This is not one of those. Uh, we're using 22.1 gigs of space out of 59.8, which means we have 37.7 free not too bad I mean typical typical for what we see with modern versions of Windows lastly let's take a look here at Winver to see if this is ultimate yep it is trying to imitate ultimate I was right I didn't even look beforehand that's just how much I could tell that this was trying to be ultimate and the last thing I want to look at one thing you may have noticed is that it's not using the arrow theme it's using the non arrow like if you didn't have graphics drivers installed we have graphics drivers installed here um, VMware tools is installed so if I go to personalization I want to change the theme do we get the option for an arrow theme and the answer appears to be no because modified theme is the only theme option we have there um, we can't actually change it to Vista arrow that glossy I want to call it liquid glass but I know that's what Apple calls Mac OS Tahoe and not this but the the glassy window borders I really wish we were able to get those working here in this build but with that being said this is a brief overview of Vista Reloaded definitely let me know what you think of this down in the comments below and if you have any other video ideas or custom ISOs you want me to take a look at please also drop them in the comments below as I love doing viewer recommended videos with that being said thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one